We've never seen the hunting like this. Hundreds and hundreds of live oaks on our place. Acorns have been killing us. How do you know where the deer are really gonna be? Man, they're so spread out, they could be anywhere. That's a true trophy mature buck. I knew that feeling was there for a reason. Unless it rains soon and rots these acorns out, we're gonna have a problem. Man, one thing that's always interested me about animals is, you know, man, they know when there's danger present. Something's happening, a big storm's coming or anything like that, man, they sense it immediately. Their body will tell them what they need. You know, they may not know why they want something, but they naturally, instinctively know of certain things that they need to have to survive. I mean, it's funny, you know, we feed protein and we feed corn. There's certain times of the year when they'll only eat protein. And then there's certain times of the year they just eat corn because that's what their body is telling them they need. In Texas the last few years, the acorns have killed us. When it's time to eat acorns and they're on the ground, it doesn't matter what you put out there, they're not gonna touch it. They don't care about corn, they don't care about like our buckle, they're going straight to acorns. It's getting their body weights up, it's preparing them for the rut that's about to take place, and it's gonna let them survive and make it through that time, and frankly, not starve. They need the nutrients, they need the fat deposits that are in those acorns to have enough energy to chase these does all over the ranch and to breed. And when every other tree on the ranch is a live oak, it makes it really tough for us because we're trying to pull those deer away from the trees and at least to some opening or something where they'll come to us. We haven't seen a lot of deer this season because of the acorns and even though we have a lot of deer on our place, they're so spread out trying to get on a target buck, forget about it. The fact that Scott saw that buck and just had the opportunity and the sighting, that's got us both super excited because we haven't seen anything. That's a true trophy mature buck that I was able to see in daylight and almost get a shot at. So maybe things are turning around for us. Elusive Wildlife Television is brought to you by Black Eagle Arrows. Pig Oil Wild Hog and Bear Attractant. The Kill Light Outfitter. Buck Oil White Tailed Deer Attractant. Maverick Blind. and by Elusive Wildlife Technologies, makers of The Kill Light. Elusive Wildlife Television is brought to you by Bow Trainer Strength Trainer for Archers. Maybe things are turning around for us. 
you know, just a couple of hunts ago, I was filming myself and had that encounter with that big buck at my main. And after looking at the photos last night, we have a sighting of a big buck that we call Philip. Now, this buck is named after one of our employees that works a retail store over there. This is just a massive, stocky, bulky buck that's mature, kind of like Philip. The funny thing is, is that every time I talk about this deer and I want to kill Philip, you know, people at the office, they're like, what? <laughs> What's going on? Man, we're excited. We're thinking maybe we got a chance. <laughs> this year's not going to be a bust. You know, one of our employees, Kyle, he's going out there and Scott's coming and this deer that I'm after, Philip, you know, he's actually come in a couple times. so. Scott feels like we, we might actually have a chance at him, so we decided to get back together like old times and see if we can make something happen. God, that's crazy. There's so many places I can shoot in here. It's supposed to rain. I, the forecast that I looked at, all it said was the next hour and 20 minutes it was going to be raining continuously. So it was raining when we left. We had our rain gear on. Side here, it's muggy, but it's a little breeze now. It quit raining. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now and uh, we're gonna just sit still for the next hour or so. Wait for nightfall. These deer should start coming in this way. Let's face it, the best whitetail attractant you can buy has been around for decades. It's called corn. But what if I told you Elusive Wildlife has a product that makes corn work even better? Buck Oil Whitetail Deer Attractant is formulated to make your corn pile irresistible to deer. Simply squirt a little buck oil over the top of your corn and wait for the wind to send those powerful aromas to a big buck's nose. Once deer find it, they won't forget it. I've seen bucks run right past other attractants to get to the buck oil. Matter of fact, Chad and Scott won't hunt whitetail without it, and it's easy to see why. Now that I have your attention, let me tell you how you might be able to give buck oil a try for free. All you have to do to get your name in the hat is to head on over to the Elusive Wildlife Facebook page and like, comment, or share the giveaway post. One winner is chosen each week, and it might just be you. Not feeling lucky? They'll take your money, too. 
you're going to want more than one anyway. Head on over to ElusiveWildlife.com now before everyone else beats you there. the deer I call Philip. I've been watching that deer for years. I think he's five or six. We have not seen him. He's coming in at night and just hanging out in the area. He's leaving. I've been dreaming about this deer. I mean, I know he's not like super wide and everything, but man, he's beautiful. He's so tall, dark chocolate horns, that kicker, and he's mature. That's Chad just made a good shot. He smoked this buck. Everything just seemed to be right this evening. So if Kyle's having any of the kind of luck that we're having, things may be turning around for us and uh, he may be in some deer too. Here he is, right behind this cactus. Golly. He did not go far at all. This is a deer we have named Bob. Me and Chad have been seeing this guy a lot. And he is by far the biggest buck I've ever shot or even had in front of me out with a bow in hand. We've been patterning him. He's been in the same spot past three nights, fourth if you count tonight, which was his uh, fatal mistake. These tines have got to be over 10 inches. I'm so, so thankful I had the opportunity this guy tonight. And uh, man, I don't even know what to say.
this is a great buck and uh, Kyle's put a lot of time in on this deer but um, <laughs> I'm actually looking more forward to going back to camp and seeing this buck and then looking over and seeing Chad's face because Bob is the deer that he was originally going after that he hadn't seen and uh, but look he got Philip which is an awesome buck and Kyle got Bob so it'll all work out but I still can't wait to see Chad's face when we get there. Yeah, still good blood right here. Hey, crash through right here. It's gotta be, what's that? There he is right there, Scott. Oh man, oh my God. Scott, look at this deer. Are you kidding me? Oh my Lord. I cannot believe this. Scott, this deer is way bigger than I thought. Oh my Lord, look at the mass this deer put on. For this area that we're in, then the deer don't get this big. Hey, one year, we fed protein the first time in this pasture this year, and I'm so glad we did. I cannot believe the difference. I have one side of his antler sh uh, shed from this year. It's the only one I've ever found and I was hoping I made the right decision passing this deer because we have so many rifle hunters all around here. A lot of these deer, they disappear, and I've been watching this deer for several years and I always loved this deer for some reason, and I just love big eight points, and I think this is my biggest eight point ever. Unbelievable. Guys are not gonna believe what this deer did. Unreal. That is a What's that? stud. What about brown bear? <laughs> I think Kyle said he already measured this. And 11 and a half inches? Yeah, 11 and a half. This little girl in here, twos and threes. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. Look, when you have 11 to 12 inch tines, G2s and G3s, you know you have a 150 on your hands. I mean, golly, that's just a beautiful, typical 10. Yeah, Kyle, Kyle, congratulations, man. Yeah. Hey, sir. Oh, that's, our, uh, that's that awesome. Yeah, too bad we got to kick you off the lease next year now. But hey, <laughs> you did a good job this year. <laughs> that's Golly, a fun, what a deer, man. What a night. You know, in hunting, <laughs> there's a lot of ups and downs. And look, we've been doing this for a long time. And everybody understands that if you hunt long enough, you're gonna have horrible seasons. I mean, you're gonna have seasons where you literally don't see a deer or don't even have an opportunity at a deer. And it's been tough for us this season, but here's the deal. It can all change with one big buck encounter. It only takes one, a second, for something to happen and to put tension on the strings of that bow and that deer's right there in front of you and everything's come together, you just can't believe it's happening. But that's what's so exciting about hunting, the not knowing, and then when it all works out, how rewarding it is. Deer, benefit greatly as you well know from supplemental feeding. There's plenty of browse and they can survive on browse, we all know that, but if you really want your deer to thrive, uh, you've got to give them more than just browse. When you can take an average deer and if you give him the right protein and you give him the right sustenance and you give him the right food, he can actually turn into something way more than he could ever be without it. You know what the Bible says though? The Bible says uh, in, in, in the book of Matthew, Jesus said it like this, he said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Now that's King James language. So let me tell you what he means by that. He said that if you try to just fulfill yourself or you just try to find everything that you need to be all that you can be only inside yourself, Jesus said you will never have enough to be all that you could be. Your potential will never fully be realized because we have a creator that created us and he did not create us to live apart from him, that when we connect with him, when we feel guidance from him, when we learn his word, when we have a personal relationship with him, we have everything we need to not just survive in this life, but to thrive and become all that God wants us to be and all that we desire to be 
It's an amazing thing. I pray that if you've never tried it, that you'd give God a chance in your life. If you'd like to know more about a personal relationship with God through His Son, Jesus Christ, just go to elusivewildlife.com and click on the Moment of Truth tab.